Welcome to the news show. I'm Artie Sequera. This week, the show is brought to you by Ryan Braun. Cute. Too cute to be allowed to live? Or just shy of that cute? Ryan Braun. Our top story. President Barack Obama issued strong words to imperiled auto giant Chrysler this week, giving them until the end of the month to pull off a merger. However, due to Obama's stance on gay marriage, the merger could not be with another car company. Rod Blagojevich, the former Illinois governor, was officially charged this week with 19 criminal counts, including corruption, lying to the FBI, wire fraud, racketeering, extortion, conspiracy, and making false statements. In other words, being a Chicago-style politician. Steamed or boiled, never broiled, and no ketchup. And if the ref don't blow the whistle, it ain't a foul. French President Nicolas Sarkozy piled on the pressure before the G20 summit this week, threatening to walk out if his demands for tighter global financial regulation were not met. Sadly, the translator had not yet arrived, and he was roundly ignored. Tall and handy, sweet like candy, hit me now. By the flick of my wrist, here's another big disc. A close relative to the tobacco plant is being tested as an affordable HIV drug, U.S. researchers said. So the truth behind those truth ads is that tobacco companies love you and people who hate cigarettes want you to get AIDS. Galileo Galilei's telescope, a 400-year-old wooden tube he made himself, is on display this week at the Franklin Institute Science Museum in Philadelphia. The telescope is a living piece of astronomical and indeed scientific history. It's one of only two remaining telescopes Galileo used to observe the heavens. But, of course, in the exhibit, it's kept under glass and therefore rendered completely useless. A team of Danish researchers has discovered that contrary to popularly accepted theory, the heart can, in fact, heal itself just very, very slowly and after a very expensive bar tab. Have you forgotten our sponsor? To me, you're strange and you're you be so perfect ER, NBC's long-running medical drama, made its final bow this week in a series finale, or in other words, according to its living will, was finally taken off post-Clooney life support. Madonna is fighting back against critics who say she's using her fame to speed up her adoption of a second child from Malawi. No, she said, that's what my money's for. A Chinese man was killed this week after trying to catch his suicidal girlfriend as she jumped from the seventh floor of their apartment building in southeastern China, which only goes to prove he never really did care about what she wanted. And that's the news for this week. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next Friday.